Hi Aries, welcome to Angel Love 333. Today we're going to do your weekly reading. This is December uh, 20th through the 26th. I hope you're all well, you're healthy, and you're safe. Uh, a few things uh, before we get started. Um, one, I just want to let everybody know that I am on social media. Uh, I'm on TikTok and Instagram, having a lot of fun with that. Uh, the addresses are in the description box if you'd like to follow me. I also have it posted on my YouTube story. So check that out if you like. Um, additionally, I do give away free personal readings. I just posted yesterday my holiday giveaway, which um, I'm giving away some cash prizes and also uh, some free personal readings that will be on Sunday, December 20th, 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, all right? So in case you missed the post, I will post again. And so hope to uh, see you there. You must be present to win. Uh, and to enter, you just need to subscribe and like the video, all right? You can like any video. It doesn't have to be this one. <laughs> but, um, and then lastly, you... I just want to let everybody know that there will be an extended reading link below if this reading resonates with you, may not resonate with everybody, but the link below is for the extended reading. It will be for the love portion only of this reading. So let's uh, start Aries. There's your first card out. Nice card. And let's get your messages. All right. So you got some very nice energy here, Aries. You have uh, your first card here is number uh, four, which is happy family. So I feel there's some sort of shift, there's some sort of change that is happening for you that's bringing stability here into your life. Now, I wanna say it's going to be, um, it feels like a new beginning, a new shift here. This can be in your work, your career, you know, related to money, right? Or even love here, okay? Something here in your love life. Now, you also have here number 29, which is 11, of the world card, okay? So there's some sort of shift, some sort of new beginning, okay? I feel something is happening uh, this week that is moving you towards success, okay? Something here that maybe you've been working towards or something, a new chapter in your life, could be a new endeavor, right? It could be, I'm just going to say for some of you may, I'm just going to say you may even be traveling. Okay. I feel like some of you uh, could be traveling as well to see family. All right. You also have uh, number 17, which is action. Okay. So some of you, I do see travel. Some of you may even purchase a new car. I'm getting that energy as well. Um, but I feel there is a shift. There is a change here headed in the right direction that's leading to success or something here that's going to make you very happy. So very, very positive energy. You have number 17, which is eight, okay? So let's uh, pull some tarot. Let's see what additional messages come out for you. What messages do we have for Aries? We're gonna start off with some general messages and then we'll lead into love specifically. So let's get some general messages here for Aries. We'll also look at the potential challenge for the week, if there is a challenge for the week. All right, and we'll get the potential outcome of your situation. So let's uh, get some general messages here for Aries. What is Aries needing to know? Let's get some general messages here for Aries. What does Jer uh, Aries need to know? I don't know. The name Jerry just came out, so I don't know. That may, name may <laughs> be significant to you. Sometimes I spit things out that uh, Spirit gives me. I have no clue what the meaning is. All right. Okay. So you have here the Mother of Pentacles. You have the Eight of Pentacles, okay, and you have the Eight of Swords. So I want to say here you have three eights in the reading, and right away what I'm picking up here, Aries, is that um, there's a new shift, a new change here. There is something here you're needing to take some sort of action, okay? Uh, but let's see here. You have bottom of the deck here. You have the emperor, which is definitely your energy there, Aries. <clears throat> okay. 
So you have the Mother of Pentacles, you have the Eight of Pentacles here. So this really actually can be related to um, money, career, and finances. All right, now uh, Mother of Pentacles, and you have here the Eight of Pentacles. Now I'm going to say you could be dealing with a specific person as well. It could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. But what I feel here, um, something here with, with work, okay? So if there may be some sort of decision here regarding career, regarding money, if you're wanting to travel to family, I feel like some of you potentially may be feeling stuck like you can't go because of work. I'm just going to say um, some of you, it may you may feel too financially. Um, it's not something that you can do at this time. But I'm also getting an energy here where you may be feeling stuck in, um, you know, a work situation or stuck somehow um, with your money situation. All right. Because um, we have the Eight of Swords here. There's some sort of action here that you're needing to take to move forward. I see a new chapter. I see a new beginning here. I see a future of success. Now, I'm going to say with this Mother of Pentacles, you may be thinking about starting some sort of side business. Um, you know, maybe somebody here is, is going to help you out. I do feel a younger energy as well. Um, but this Eight of Swords here, what's preventing you from moving forward may be fear, okay? Fear of moving into something new here. But what I'm going to say with this, the Eight of Swords with this deck here is telling you that um, at some point, you're going to have to, you know, come out of that cocoon, right? The butterfly only stays in the cocoon for so long. So you're going to have to spread your wings. So if you're in a situation where you're feeling stuck, right? Maybe you're feeling like, you know, you're not um, getting the income that you need, right? Or maybe you feel like you don't have the money here to travel, okay? Or do something, I feel what they're saying here is there's some sort of decision or action you're having to take. Some of you, this may be um, related to a business that you have or a side business here that you are starting, okay? And the only thing right now I feel that is holding you back is fear. Some of you, you know, there could be some sort of financial situation, maybe afraid to put money towards travel or some sort of career situation. Um, I'm going to say here too, you may be hoping for some sort of job offer if you're looking for a job, feeling stuck, okay, maybe, you know, needing, hoping for some sort of pr promotion. But there's some sort of action here you're needing to take. And I'm going to say this can apply to love as well, all right? This can apply to love um, as, you know, maybe hoping to work towards some sort of commitment here with someone or, you know, but let's pull some more cards. Let's see what comes out. Cause we're going to pull the love situation here, but something here with money, and we're going to clarify to some of these cards. Let's see here. Just a moment. I'm just going to shut off my phone. Somebody's calling there. Let's uh, see what messages here we have for Aries in love. What messages do we have for Aries in love? All right, so we have the Three of Cups. We have the Two of Wands. Now, if you don't have anybody in your life or you're not interested in love, this can have to do with family or a friend, uh, somebody close to your heart. Okay, and we have the Son of Wands. Yeah, I feel like there's something here, okay? I feel there's, um, you know, I feel like you want to take some sort of action um, or thinking about taking some sort of action. And as I say thinking, you have the Nine of Swords here. So I definitely feel like this situation is on your mind. I feel there's a situation where you're wanting to be more in control of a situation that maybe you're feeling you're not in control of. Um, but you have the Three of Cups here, all right? So I feel like there's somebody here that you want to reunite with, all right? Somebody here that you're hoping um, that you and this person can even, even reconcile. Um, it could be a family member, a friend, a love here. I am pulling love, but that can be a, a love attachment, somebody here you have loving feelings for. 
So I feel here there's an energy here of wanting to have more stability here when it comes to family or love or some sort of friendship. Okay, yeah, have the two of wands here as well. So again, I do feel there's some sort of decision here you're having to make. This card comes to tell you that there is success ahead. There is success ahead on one of these two paths, all right? And I feel like that's what you're being guided here to uh, look at, all right? To look at your future here with the world card. Look at um, new beginnings here because I feel what you're stuck on here definitely is something that there is no movement, okay? There's stagnation here because you're caught up in your head about it, right? And this may be blocking your happiness here with the sun card, all right? So you have here the sun of wands. Again, another indication that you're needing to take some sort of action. I feel here um, you may be feeling stuck in a situation because maybe you're waiting for uh, someone to communicate with you in order to make some sort of decision, maybe get that clarity that you need. Maybe you're waiting for some sort of offer communication from someone here and just feeling here, you know, stuck. All right. But I want to say here too, I feel this is also energy here of a decision to take a new path. Okay. Maybe feeling like there is success ahead, moving on from whatever is holding you back and keeping you stuck. And I'm just going to say that is what is coming out a lot in the readings here with all the signs this week, right? A lot of people here are stuck in a situation having to make a decision and, you know, maybe having some fears about moving forward. Okay. Let's clarify some of these cards. So I first want to clarify what this Mother of Pentacles is about. I'm, I feel here too with this Mother of Pentacles, you know, you, you may be feeling, um, you know, with the energy here, I feel like you may be feeling um, stuck in a financial situation. Like I said, some of you may want to travel, but maybe feel you don't have the money to do so, or you have to work right and you can't travel but let's see uh why the mother of pentacles is here please why is the mother of pentacles here please all right you have the death card you have strong scorpio energy you have the devil card strong capricorn okay and you have the hermit wow three major arcana cards there virgo energy and you have the three of pentacles Okay, so some of you I feel here, um, some of you I feel this is a work situation. Maybe you're in a toxic environment. Um, there could have been an ending here, right? Because I do see that there, uh, there may be a situation here where you're feeling stuck, okay? Loss of a job here, um, right? Doing some inner soul searching here, trying to find your way in the situation, okay? Three of Pentacles, maybe needing some help, needing some assistance here in your situation related to finances, money, right, or um, job opportunities I'm getting. For some of you, I'm getting here that um, this is a situation where you may be dealing with somebody around you that uh, there may have been an end of a friendship, okay, or a falling out with a family member. Um, or an ending of a love situation, okay? But there is a transformation here as well, okay? There is a new beginning. I see a new beginning here, but there's some sort of action that you're needing to take, all right? Now, with the devil card here and the hermit, I feel there is something here you're needing to be cautious about. You can see the snake here, all right? And that might be why you are feeling stuck, okay? Because, you know this there's there's a decision here this person here is trying to find the best path right or the best way to get past this snake here so there may be somebody here i feel or a situation you're trying to avoid that can be also keeping you stuck let's clarify that eight of swords why is aries uh feeling stuck okay 
or a lack of action here. Why is the Eight of Swords here, please? You have the Three of Cups. You have the Judgment card. Yeah, the World card. I feel like you're really trying to decide what's going to make you happy in the situation. Some of you, this is a work situation or having to do with money here with the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, some of you, I feel here is a love situation, right? You have here the Three of Cups, you have the Judgment card, and you have the World card. Second time you have the World card, okay? So this is a major life decision. I feel that you are making Aries. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, a Taurus, a Scorpio, or a Leo here, right? This is why I feel you're holding back from taking some sort of action because this is a new change. This is a new shift in your life, and I feel it is definitely something here that's very heavy on your shoulders. I'm going to say here too, you know, um, sometimes I see this Eight of Swords as an energy of things aren't quite ripe yet, right? The, the butterfly is not quite right to come out, okay? So um, let's see here now. Now, for some of you, I want to say here, this can be you making the decision to travel to family. I am picking up travel very strongly and family, this this family or this person, whoever it is, this may be somebody here at a distance, okay? Travel distance, even out of state or even out of country. So let's clarify, let's see why the, um, I'm just looking here at the, the time. All right, we have, why is the two of wands here, please? Why is the two of wands here, please? You have the three of wands. The Four of Wands, and you have the Four of Swords, bottom of the deck here, you have the Moon card. Okay, so I feel like you're really trying to gain clarity about a situation here, okay, when it comes to love, because this is in your love, or it can be a love one here. You have the Three of Wands, the Four of Wands, and the Four of Swords. So, you know, if you're dealing with a situation where, you know, in your love life where things ended between you and someone or you're not too sure about you know this connection this relationship here you may be you know trying to figure out how you feel because there's a lot of deep emotions here with the moon card so you could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancerian. I feel like it's a situation too that you're not too sure if things are gonna work or if this person's going to be cooperative with you. I feel like you're trying to make a decision here um, you know, about a loved one or a love here and you're looking at all the possibilities and I feel like you're really trying to gain some clarity. Some of you it may be choosing a new direction here in love no matter what your situation is. For others, if this is a loved one, I feel here there's definitely an energy here of travel, um, you know, stability, looking at the possibilities here in your situation. Let's clarify why the Sun of Wands is here. Why is the Sun of Wands here, please? Why is the Sun of Wands here, please? You have the Six of Wands, you have the Two of Cups, okay, and you have the Queen of Cups. Okay, bottom of the deck. Look what you have on the bottom of the deck. You have the Eight of Swords, that stuck energy here. I feel there's somebody here that you have a lot of feelings and emotions for um, with the Sun of Wands, the Two of Cups, and the Queen of Cups, right? Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We also have here Aries, Leo, Sag. We have all the energies. You know, I called out the strong signs here. Definitely strong Cancerian up here as well. Um, but I feel this is somebody here that you have a lot of feelings and emotion for. And I feel you're trying to make a decision here whether to reach out to this person, right? Or... Um, you know, wait for this person to reach out. I feel like this is what's keeping you stuck when it comes to love. I'm not seeing any like real, real negative stuff 
except for here you know you do have the devil here you know they have the death card so there may have been an, uh, some sort of ending between the two of you but i feel um this is somebody here that is definitely on your mind when it comes to love or a family member here somebody you definitely have a very strong connection with i feel you're hopeful that things are going to work out with you and this person but i'm also getting the energy here where you're kind of feeling stuck should i reach out to this person should i move on from this situation why i'm just going to pull three cards and just see for what your challenge is for the week what's aries challenge for the week you have the sun of cups you have the seven of wands and you have the ten of wands all right bottom of the deck here you have the three of wands all right I feel there's um, something that you've been carrying with you, some emotion that you've been carrying with you. I feel like you feel a little bit guarded, a, a bit held back. You know, you may even feel a little bit defensive here, Aries, but I feel that's going to be your challenge, okay? Carrying these emotions, these feelings, it's, it's heavy on your shoulders. And I feel that um, with this three of wands here and the three of pentacles, I and look at that, and you have the two of pentacles. There's definitely some sort of decision and action I feel here you're needing to take to release these burdens here, all right? And it may be that you just need to keep moving forward and uh, you know see how things play out. Maybe you need to reach out to this person, have a conversation so then you gain the clarity that you need but there's something here that needs to happen so that you can have a new beginning here with you know releasing that heavy energy so Aries I'm going to take this to the extended we're going to look at how your person is thinking or feeling about you their upcoming actions love messages and guidance so I hope to see you there I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and I'm sending you angel love